So now we're going to set up two logic relays and a point template and we're going to use the names that we set and defined in these weapons. So next entity we need is point template. So type in point underscore template, here we have it and I'm just going to place mine right over here. So double click on the point template. So what happens with the point template? We can define any item on the template 1, 2 and 3 that we have in our scene. So we can put our weapons, we can put our items names as well as the radio and our point template is going to hold all of those names in here. Then with the logic relay we're going to be able to force the point template to spawn specific items that we set in here. So under point template, under name, let's define a, a very descriptive and specific name. Now I'm going to name mine survival underscore stuff underscore spawner. Now inside our template we're going to uh, set up a few templates. One is survival items. Next one is survival weapons. Third one is survival glow. And the fourth one is survival radio. Next we're going to set up two logic relays. So under entity type in relay and we need two of them. One is going to uh, force our survival stuff to spawn. The other one is going to kill it. And uh, the kill one, uh, if somebody loads our game in anything other than survival, uh, we want everything else to disappear. We don't want the radio, we don't want the weapons, and we don't want the survival spawn positions uh, to spawn. So if somebody uh, tries to spawn our map inside scavenge mode, uh, everything will be gone. This logic relay is going to force stuff to spawn, so it's going to force all the survival stuff to spawn when the survival mode uh, gets activated. So let's set up the first one. The first one is going to be uh, under name. We want to name this spawn underscore survival underscore stuff underscore post uppercase two letters I O. Under flags allow fast retrigger, check that on. And under outputs let's add an output. My output named the first one is on trigger targets entity named we want our point template so the point template gets put into target entity named which we named our point template as survival stuff spawner and then via this input we want to force spawn click apply so we have our first thing set up now for the second one double click under name we want to name this kill underscore survival underscore stuff. So kill survival stuff. Flags allow fast retrigger, yes. Under outputs, we want to define a few things that are on trigger, they're going to get killed. So on, we're going to add, and then the first my output named is going to be on trigger. The entity is survival positions, and via this input, we want to kill. Now for the second one, add again, my output named, we're going to set on trigger, the entity is survival underscore explainer proxy. Via this input, type in kill. So the survival explainer proxy is this item. And uh, we'll make it to where if uh, it spawns other than survival mode, it gets um, deactivated, gets killed. Really quick, we have two logic relays. One is spawn survival stuff post IO and the outputs it will trigger survival stuff spawner. And what it will trigger is this point template. This point template includes items, weapons, glow and radio which are all of these items right here. And the second logic relay kills survival stuff and on, on output we have on trigger it will kill survivor positions and it will kill survivor explainer proxy. For the final thing we want to include an info game mode entity. Info game mode and we need to set this up. So the info game mode double click under name uh, I will tap in survival game mode. On output we need to set up a few parameters. One is going to be on co-op I want to kill survival stuff via this input trigger. So we have one. Second one is going to be on scavenge. I want 
again kill survival stuff so what this does is uh, if somebody spawns in co-op or scavenge it will kill the survival stuff that we have set up in our uh, point template which is controlled by logic relay and via this input I want trigger on our third one we want to uh, set up the versus so on versus we want to do the same thing we want to kill survival stuff do the same thing trigger and for the final thing we want on survival so on add we want to set up on survival post IO and we want the target entity named spawn survival stuff post IO via this input let's uh, set trigger so this last one on survival post IO this one tells game to uh, when we start in survival game mode to spawn everything that we set and all other game modes uh, all the s survival stuff that we have on our map uh, gets killed off and uh, it doesn't appear. So our final thing, let's test and uh, let's compile and jump in the game and see uh, if everything works. So the first thing when you jump in the game up to compile you're gonna notice one, you have your navigation errors because you need to build your navigation, that's the important part, and then two is we spawn outside the map and that's because the map uh, unless you have a, an add-on and a mission file, it will not spawn your game properly. So we need to uh, sp force a survival spawn. So in the console, type in map, map name, and then space, and then you want to type in survival. This way, the map will get spawned in survival. So click OK, OK continue. Now we have all of our items spawned here. We can uh, pick up anything that we want and let's if we press our survival mode gets activated and everything works so we know that everything gets spawned inside the survival mode so let's see if we force start um, you know, let's say a scavenge mode so type in map map name and then let's force it in scavenge and all the items uh, that were on the table uh, they should disappear because we have it set up that if somebody spawns our map on scavenge mode everything will disappear and since it also kills off the survival positions we uh, can no longer spawn where we need to spawn as well as in scavenge everything disappears so it works like it should and this becomes very important when you try to set up multiple game modes for a single map so now that we have it working, let's do a quick recap overview. Uh, we set up our four infra survivor positions. Each one of them has a name. It has a survivor name, a specific uh, member that gets spawned in that specific spawn point. And game mode is set to survival. We also have set up an info director. We have info game event proxy. Uh, each one of these entities uh, has a specific name and some of them have uh, specific outputs set up and uh, specific uh, flag checks checked. Uh, we also then set up a function brush and a trigger finale entity. Then we have a few items which get spawned in here. Uh, we have uh, uh, melee weapons, ammo, logic relays that either uh, force a spawn of certain items or uh, they help kill depending on uh, if somebody starts our game in survival or scavenge or any other game mode. So these two are very important and they both tie into a point template. And point template is very useful to have uh, through a point template you can make certain entities uh, spawn inside the map or have them killed. And the last one is info game mode and this defines a game mode that you want to have set up. In outputs there are a few very important uh, properties and target entities set up. Specific game modes like co-op, scavenge and versus we have all of our survival stuff uh, gets killed off so nothing shows up including our info survival positions. Uh, on survival post IO we have survival stuff that gets spawned which is done through a logic relay that points into a point template. So there's a lot of things that are happening all at the same time um, but uh, this is not very complicated. It's actually very easy to uh, to set up once you understand what gets tied into what. And then you can start setting up more weapons and more items uh, and um, naming them 
tying them and putting them inside the template and then they just automatically uh, get forced fed into a logic relay which is controlled by info game mode. This becomes very important to have and to set up when you want to have multiple game modes down for the same map. Uh, so this is how you create the survival game mode. Uh, so good luck and if you have any problems uh, just message me.